Welcome back to video number five in the Inktober 2022 journey. Let's get straight into it with day 14, empty. Now I'm gonna give you some scary facts about something empty. And that thing is a rocking chair. Did you know that there is a superstition attached to a rocking chair? An empty rocking chair is said to be a magnet for evil spirits. Empty rocking chairs open up the possibility of an energy or entity wanting to sit down and inhabit that space. The Irish believe that rocking an empty rocking chair creates energy and momentum that can invite dark forces to want to use it. If you purchase a rocking chair, new or used, and it moves on its own, it has a spirit attached to it. So get it out of the house and burn it immediately. So for this illustration, I decided to go with something simple uh, with just drawing a rocking chair. Uh, I sort of got a few references for chairs. I'm not one for drawing furniture. Um, so this was very, uh, this was very odd for me. To, to do this so it wasn't very natural so I ended up getting a couple of shapes of rocking chairs and then sort of designing my own sort of way that everything sort of um, looks on it um, if that made sense and just decided to add like a wooden floor and and that's about it no sort of um, anything in the background uh, there's a bit of a black smudge at the top of this picture that's because um, I accidentally spilt the ink bottle and it went everywhere and it went all over my desk and that was a fun time but I added blood to the chair just to uh, create like a sinister kind of feel, sort of give that haunted, um, yeah, sinister feel to it. And yeah, sort of uh, getting into the whole fact that this chair has, uh, yeah, it's, it's evil and it's, you know, attracting evil things and evil things happen on it. And as you can see, there's blood all over it. So obviously someone's just been like murdered on the bloody thing. I don't know use your imagination but yeah I find I find rocking chairs terrifying I don't like them I don't like rocking on them my mum's obsessed with rocking chairs she always has to have one uh, she's got one now that she sits on uh, years ago my dad actually um, <laughs> my dad gets quite annoyed with her rocking in his peripheral vision so many years ago this caused a bit of um, controversy dad burnt her last rocking chair and <laughs> yeah mum went out and got another one <laughs> yes not very nice but in my dad's defense <laughs> well I'm not really defending him, but he was a bit drunk and we had a party and he was just decided to, he decided to just go and get the bloody thing and throw it straight on a fire. So yeah, mum was also off her face as well. She was drunk and yeah, there was some, there was some heated words exchanged in that and it was, it was pretty funny. I must admit, I sat back and I laughed and I think everyone else at the party laughed as well. But yeah, the next day I don't think mum talked to dad for a while after that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that is, uh, that is my day 14 empty. I'll let you watch the rest of this and I will be back in the next prompt in a couple of minutes. Day 15 is armadillo. Now I'll give you some fun facts on some armadillos that I stumbled across on the internet. They can be found in South America and one species is found in North America. In Spanish, armadillo means little armored one. They eat grubs and insects, small reptiles, worms, and sometimes plants. 
there are 20 known species of armadillos. They have poor eyesight but great sense of smell. You can eat armadillos, apparently they taste like pork. Um, no thanks. The Brazilian three-band armadillo is the only one that can roll into a ball. Armadillos are the only animal that can contract leprosy like a human. Now, allegedly, um, a man in Texas attempted to shoot an armadillo, but ended up shooting himself in the head due to the bullet ricocheting off the armor and back at him, hitting him in the face. But people question this because there was never any armadillo found. Now, apparently three shots were fired and one hit the armor of the armadillo. Now, apparently this armadillo had startled him at 3 a.m. in the morning. He was rustling in his backyard and that's basically why he shot, uh, fired shots apparently. Now, this isn't the first incident either. Apparently a Georgia man injured his mother-in-law when a bullet ricocheted off an armadillo, hit the fence and then went through the back door of the mobile home went through a recliner and hit her in the back. This time, apparently, the armadillo was killed in the process. Maybe ricocheting off the armadillo, yeah, but ricocheting off a fence, unless it was some sort of metal that repelled it. I don't know. This That story just sounds a bit weird because there's a mother-in-law involved. I naturally just go to, uh, he was making excuses to shoot her. <laughs> I don't know. I went dark there, but that's... That's just what I was thinking. So for this illustration, I decided to do a weaponed up armadillo. He's a, a SWAT armadillo and he has his little gun and he's basically got some shots in his shell and he's bleeding and he's out to get whoever done this to him. Um, the biggest problem um, I have with this illustration is I forgot to draw the shell, um, part of the, the shell on the other side where his other arm's holding the gun. Um, completely forgot and I only just realized this last night when I was looking at it and I'm like, oh shit. It looks really, really weird and I've also forgot to rub some lead pencil off some of the bottom of it so this one's a little bit of a shit show not my favorite but um yeah it's just a uh just a little mutant type armadillo that's out for revenge i'll let you watch the rest of this one and i'll be back in a minute Now day 16 is foul and I went hunting for some facts on fowls and found some scary, scary facts. Um, apparently there is such thing and I've never heard of a broiler chicken. Apparently a broiler chicken is a chicken that is only bred for consumption and doesn't lay eggs. They taste good 
well, apparently they taste really good, but apparently they're no good for the human brain due to the antibiotics pumped into them. The chemicals that make chickens grow in mass get into the bloodstream and cause headaches and neurological issues. Broiler chickens that they tested, there was about, out of all the chickens that they tested, about 97% contained germs and harmful bacteria that cause foodborne infections such as salmonella. They are also pumped full of synthetic hormones to make them grow, and these hormones can cause reproductive issues in humans. When a broiler chicken is cooked at high temperatures, it apparently makes it carcinogenic, which then makes a risk for humans to get cancer. They also contain high levels of arsenic to prevent them from getting diarrhea and promote growth. Once again, no good for humans and this can cause cancer and neurological disorders because broiler chickens are low in fiber and calorie dense you can put on weight like a lot of weight and it doesn't make you feel full either so the illustration that i did for uh for this i went with a uh, featherless uh, fowl i decided to make it look very terrifying pluck all the feathers off of him and then sort of make him like a mutant sort of cross chicken and he has all these sort of diseases and bacteria um, coming out of him all these like weird worm type things and it's bleeding and they're inhabiting the body of this and yeah this this represents that this this bird is not good for consumption at all when you learn facts like that you sort of get a little bit terrified about eating chicken. I just wish that the food industry wouldn't pump food full of so many chemicals. I'm just, I really do go out of my way now to look for alternatives and look for more natural alternatives now. And, that, and that's with everything, not just food. Um, I, I just, I can't, I can't understand why why they would do that why they would put something in food that's going to cause so many problems and i could go into that but i won't maybe in the future with some of my conspiracies i will go maybe into the food industry and rattle off um some of the stuff that i've found out about it it's it will it will terrify you um it is is terrifying what they put in the foods that we consume and it's not even it's not even food grade it's not even for consumption like it is scary but let's not get into that let's end this video uh here and i hope all you guys out there are enjoying your inktober i hope you are still going you're still um you know still creating wonderful artwork and you haven't given up yet stay strong stay in there it will get easier hopefully and i will see you in another couple of days for the next video bye